thanks so much for stopping by. On my lips today, I'm wearing the Manny MUA and Gerard Cars Cosmetics and Gerard Cosmetics um, Hydra Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick. Yeah, Hydra Matte Lips Liquid Lipstick. I swear to God, I can't talk today. It's bizarre. Um, in the color Serenity, and I like it so much. It's the perfect everyday color. I knew I would love it. I didn't buy it for a long time, and finally I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot and buy it. And no surprise, I really, really like it. It's a nice, um, there's a nice like pinkiness to it, which I like because when the colors are too dark on me, it tends to just like suck the color out of my face a little bit. Um, so I tend to go for lighter pinks and lighter colors. I just feel like it brightens up my whole complexion. I like dark colors too, but I like this for an everyday color. Anyways, I'm wearing kind of dark eyes today. I actually filmed a three-step, really, really easy, 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 like as easy as you could possibly imagine, smoky eye. So please go ahead and check out that video if you want to see how to get this smoky eye. It's nothing fancy, but it's perfect for beginners, and I, like I said, it's really, really easy. Um, I'll link it down below. Today, we're going to do yet another first impressions video. I really love watching these videos, so I find myself drawn to film these types of videos because I just... I like kind of how honest they are, and I like seeing people's first impressions with a product. Um, I tend to shy away from really, really long review videos. I just sort of get bored and I end up like skipping through just to the demo part. So that's why when I do these types of videos, I like to focus on the demo and everything else I just like to sort of like give you the basics. Um, so what so I'm talking about today is the Besame Cosmetics Brightening Vanilla Face Powder. I have seen this a lot just on the website and I've been really interested in it. I always liked the idea of a brightening face powder, especially for under the eyes. So I was always sort of attracted to trying it, but I have never taken the plunge on buying it until recently. I was in Sephora and I saw it out on display and it was just kind of like an impulse purchase. I feel like you guys hear that a lot. I make a lot of impulse purchases. <laughs> um, it was an impulse purchase and I just decided to give it a shot. I have used it once or twice, but this is still a relatively new, a very new product for me actually, so it's still definitely a first impression video. Um, so I got the Brightening Vanilla Face Powder. There are a couple different shades of this. There's a violet shade, there's a French vanilla shade, but this product seemed to be, or this color seemed to be good for um, my skin tone. Um, so it comes in this little tin, retails for $22. It just says that it is a face powder that controls redness and brings a subtle warmth to the complexion. Um, I also feel like I've read that it's good for underneath the eyes, and if you guys watch my channel with any sort of regularity, you know I'm moderately obsessed with the under eye area, whether it be concealers or powders or whatever. I just really like to brighten up that area, so I'm always looking for new products to try. Um, so it comes in this little tin, and it's a translucent translucent powder. You just lift off the tin and what's inside is a powder puff and the powder. Now the powder comes with a plastic covering to keep things cleaner which I really like and it also um, makes for a place to rest the little powder puff. So basically what you do is you open up the little plastic lid. Oh my god. There we go. Um, you open up the little plastic lid and you dump the amount of product you want in the cap. I don't start with very much. Okay, so once it's in the cap, it recommends that you use the powder puff. I have tried the powder puff and I don't mind it, but I'm not in love with it just because it's not super precise, but I am going to use the powder puff and apply this underneath the eyes. Okay. So. This powder reminds me of something you'd use to like bake your face. So what I'm going to do is just kind of like load it on, let it sit for a couple seconds and then sweep it off. Because that would be my guess as to how you would use it. Um, to get the max amount out of it. So we'll let it sit for a couple seconds. Obviously you can let it sit for longer, but for purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna brush it off. Okay. 
Okay, so my card just told me that it was full, so I just had to delete a couple old videos, and I don't really know where I left off, so hopefully um, you've seen what I wanted you to see. So I just packed it on, and then I let it sit for a couple minutes, and then I sweeped it off. And what I see is a slight, slight brightening quality, but certainly nothing too impressive. Um, I do think this product does a nice job of setting your concealer. It does a decent job of brightening, but what I don't love is that it has a slight heavy look. Like, it's not as light as I would like it to be, if that makes sense. Um, it does create the smallest amount of cakiness under the eyes. Again, it's not too, too bad, but I don't know. I feel like it makes the area look slightly dry. So I feel like good for setting concealer. I bet it lasts a really, really long time. Slight brightening qualities, but at the same time, kind of drying. It kind of reminds me of like the old school powders that make you look like cakey and like older. I don't know. Um, I'm also going to try to apply this powder with just a brush and not the puff. So I'm gonna dump a little bit more onto the lid and I'm just going to sweep some up with my Real Techniques brush get a lot on there and I'm just gonna pat it under there okay so I have to say I didn't notice a huge difference between the brush and the powder puff in terms of coverage which means that I will always opt for a brush because I like how you can get closer to the eye, I like how it's more precise, and I like how you can wash, I mean you can wash powder puffs, but I wash my brushes probably more frequently, so I probably opt for a brush. And I actually like the finish on this side a little bit better than this side. Um, maybe because this deposited a little bit less product, so it's not settling into the fine lines as much, but regardless, I like how it looks with the brush better. Okay, so, so this is how it looks underneath the eyes with the Besame face powder applied. This I did with a powder puff, the one that it came with, and this I did with a Real Techniques brush. So I do feel like it sets the concealer well. I feel like it creates a little bit of a brightening effect, but like I mentioned, I do feel like it's a little bit heavy for underneath the eyes, which I'm not a huge fan of. Okay guys, so I know that was a really quick... Um, little first impressions video there, but I mainly just wanted to focus on the demo and show you how it works. I would rate this probably, um, I would rate this product on a scale of 1 to 10, probably at like a 6. I don't think it's a bad product, but it's certainly not life changing. It's not everything I hoped and dreamed it would be, unfortunately, but I probably will hang on to it. I probably won't return it, and hopefully over time I will like it a little bit more, and it won't end up on my next luxury products I regret buying list. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos. I thank you guys for stopping by and please leave any requests that you have in the comment section. I love honoring requests and gives me ideas of what to do next. So I will see you guys soon. Thanks.